G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament. This is an 8 board BBO tournament that you can play by going solitaire bridge, then weekly free. So give it a shot if you haven't, and let's jump right in and see what we can do. So here I've got a 4 triple 3 14 count, so I'm going to open one club. I was going to rebid one new jump, but things escalated pretty quickly there. Uh, so one heart, two clubs, four hearts. I don't like I'm a minimum balanced hand, so I don't see any reason to do anything else. And now it's up to me. Uh, so Queen of Clubs lead, so West has the king. So let's start off hopping in with the ace. Uh, the reason I hop in the ace, occasionally it'll be a singleton king. My partner might have some ridiculous amount of clubs. Pretty unlikely though. My partner does have a void heart, and they do have, don't have four spades, so they've got like three spades, zero hearts, six diamonds and four clubs, or five five in the minors. Um, the diamond's not necessarily going anywhere, I'm not in a great rush. I could switch to a diamond here. Or I could start drawing the trumps. I don't think drawing trumps will be that effective. So I'm going to try and cash a diamond trick. Um, like from my perspective, East can rough two spades, and the spades will set up like even after drawing trumps. So if they can set up the spades, even if I try and draw trumps, then they've just got the king of clubs. So let's just play a diamond. So we get a diamond trick, and we'll get the ace of hearts. I really don't think we're getting anything else. Still haven't seen the king of clubs, so two, three, three, five, probably. There's my partner's void. And like that, they're drawing trumps anyway, so let's just keep drawing them. Yeah, there's the singleton. My partner is a 3-0, probably 5-5. Five, five. No, nope, they've got four clubs and six diamonds. Anyway, 39% uh, for just defending four hearts. Some people opened one no trump, <laughs> uh, which got you to play three diamonds. That's an aggressive upgrade there. And some people also got to three no trumps when their partner said, please bid diamonds, so they just bid three no trump. Um, I don't think this hand's worth upgrading into uh, four into a strong no trump range. Happened to work this time, but uh, happy with my 39% there. Uh, one person chose to double. I don't like that at all. And someone held it. Well, let make 11 tricks. So they didn't get their diamond trick or their club. I'm not quite sure which. Anyway, uh, moving on to board number two. Uh, this time we've got a 14 count with the five card suit. So this one I will upgrade into a no trump. My partner transferred to spades and invited me. Um, I'll bid three spades. A minimum, don't really want to jump to four spades with just uh, 14 points. But my partner has a game force. Like, I, I would be bidding game with this hand opposite a strong no trump. Like, and now your partner shows a fit and your hand's definitely worth going up there. I think this is completely ridiculous. We have a club loser, a spade loser, and a bunch of diamond losers. Um, I might be able to throw a club away on a diamond if they don't switch in time. But I'm going to start by drawing trumps. So let's just win the ace and play the jack of spades. And another one. Okay, so they got in with the clubs. I'll just top up with the ace here. And draw the last trump. Okay, so West had the shortage there. Um, Basically in diamonds, I'm just going to bang down the ace and lead another diamond. East might have switched to a singleton diamond. Nope. So good news. Uh, 
like they, I would have gone off in four spades, but I definitely would have wanted to be there. Um, it's a really good game contract. But uh, seventy-five percent. Uh, some people got to two diamonds. They opened one no trump, and then their partner rebid two diamonds. A couple of people got to four spades. Uh, in some very strange way. I was pretty much... Was I alone? Nah, there's a bunch of people upgrading this into a no trump. So, lots of people opening a one no trump. I think one no trump is a fine choice here. Um, but with diamonds breaking king jack nine there, nothing you can do, especially when they switch to clubs in time. Uh, but 75%, we're running at 57 now. Let's move on to board number three. So here we've got 10, 15 highs, an unbalanced hand. We'll start with one diamond. Just bid my other suit, two clubs. And my partner's just rebid two spades. So a couple of choices here. Either I can rebid two no trumps, or I could pass. And I reckon two spades is a playable spot. And my partner's just showing a weak hand here. I don't think we've got good chances of game, so let's just uh, play there. Um, we've got two heart losers, a club loser, and they're leading a diamond. They might be able to get a diamond rough. Anyway, um, <laughs> it looks like they'll be able to get a diamond rough, that's for sure. Uh, so let's draw a round of trumps. And I kind of want to limit their chances of being able to cut, get between the hands. Uh, so I'm just going to lead the king of clubs. There's like a very slight chance that the person with a singleton diamond has ace, king of hearts, and the ace of clubs. And I don't need any of my clubs or heart points to get rid of losers. I'm just trying to prevent them getting too many roughs. Well, that, that works pretty well. <laughs> that worked really, really well. And it's just Queen of Diamonds. So this wasn't my goal of leading out the King of Clubs, but uh, it worked like absolute dividends. I was just trying to take the slight edge in trying to cut communication. Um, but two spades plus four for fifty-seven percent. A lot of people got to four spades. So when their partner rebid two spades, they did two no or three no. This hand didn't feel like a great fifteen count, um, and it's a misfit. So for that reason, I decided to go against it. I figured usually my partner will have sort of six or seven points like they did for this, but here they've got the seventh spade, which really makes up for it. If they only had uh, six spades, then I don't really want to be in three no trumps because we don't have a fit and that's a misfitting hand. And we don't really want to be in spades because we don't have a fit. So I think passing two spades is a decent choice. Also, four spades goes down on this hand if they lead a diamond, um, get in and give their partner a rough at some point. They can uh, beat it. A couple of tricks. So even on this sort of dream layout, four spades isn't uh, great. Anyway, 57% uh, didn't uh, drop away. We'll move on to board number four. So here I've got a balanced 15 count. Really good spade suit, but I'm just going to bid one no trump. See what we do. Okay, so if I open one spade, I'd probably play in one spade. Just trying to compare how the hands will actually play. But it looks like I've got five spade tricks and a club is six. Uh, you'd probably be able to build a heart trick in one spade. You'd be able to lose two hearts, three diamonds, and a club. So I really want to make this. Okay. So six of clubs and I win. So I can probably just cash spades here or play a spade to the ten and finesse a heart. 
But the robots don't know that my spades are that good. I think if I just work on diamonds, they might play a spade for me. Yeah. And let's just play another diamond. Okay, diamonds broke. So now I've set up a diamond trick here. And they, yeah, played another spade. So get over there and I get to cash my um, diamond winner. And it's really hard because they don't know that my spade suit is that good. Ah, the Ace of Clubs was on side. And I'll get a heart trick now. So really good result here, I think. 100%. That was a very friendly layout there. Um, and knowing that the opponents don't know about your holding there makes it really relevant and you can work on that. One spade made, everyone in one no trump made and got a really good score as well. Managed to sneak the over trick just by playing on diamonds. They happened to break. And that gave me the eighth trick. Um, so I managed to get five spades, one diamond, one club, and one heart. For 100% up into rank 2 with 67. So that's what we can do on this next one. So here we've got 8, 12, 16 points, 5, 4 in the majors. So I'll start with one spade. I'll just rebid two hearts. I'm, I'm an invitational hand potentially, um, but I'm not good enough to jump to three hearts. But my partner's got a maximum passed hand. And we're. If they can jump to four hearts, this will play really well, I think. Um, Alright. Uh, so, it's good to make a plan from my partner's hand. Uh, they've got a spade loser, no diamonds, a heart loser, and a couple of club losers. I could try taking a heart finesse. I could potentially try roughing down a couple of clubs. So... I think trumping some clubs is good. If hearts break 2-2, I can rough them at my leisure. Just take a heart finesse here. And I probably didn't need to draw that other trump straight away. I think that might have been a mistake, but it worked out okay. I think I should have considered ducking a spade at that time. The reason being is if trumps break 3-1, I'd want to play club to the ace, club to the ten, trump a club. Ace of spades, rough a spade, rough a club. Uh, but here, as it is, let's say I went ace of clubs, club to the king, trump a club, I can't get back there. So I'd have to let the opponents in and they could draw my trump. So I made a little misplay, but uh, hearts being 2-2 meant that's okay. So at this moment, I'm going to make... Uh, 12 tricks. The heart finesse worked and just going to trump both my clubs. Wow, spades broke really badly. Ducking a spade wouldn't have worked. Um, but uh, 12 tricks and 57%. So one person managed to make 11 tricks. Just wanted to see what they did. Queen of Diamonds, they won. Jack of Hearts. Spade to the Ace. Okay, that they should have made. Like, I thought maybe they'd duck a spade or a spade ducked and then just go spade rough straight away. Um, but here they are at a spot where they should have made 11 tricks, but they decided to settle for 11. Um, that was board number five, still in rank number two. Let's three boards to go. Let's see what we can do. Uh, fifteen points, not a particularly good fifteen, but five four in the majors. So <laughs> just one spade, two hearts. Take out double. Um. All right. Uh, like I, I, I think this is pushy, but yeah. Um, heart lead. We have my partner's got three diamond losers, a club loser, and a spade loser. So I want to trump two diamonds. 
and they'll use one club, one diamond, one spade. And for that to happen, I need to rough twice. Um, so I need to draw the trumps. Uh, not draw the trumps, knock out the ace of diamonds. Okay, so win that. Now I can just rough the diamond. Hard over. Rough a diamond. Give up a spade. And as long as they can't get a club rough, I'm okay. Uh, because I can trump. Draw the last trump. And now just give up a club. So 78% is going well. Um, still in rank 2 or 3 with 67%. Lots of people in 4 hearts making some just in 3. And a few going down in 4 hearts. Two boards left to play. Hopefully we can uh, continue on strongly. Uh, so here we've got 14 highs. 3, 4, 5, 1, so I'll just start with one diamond and reopen with a take up double. Yep, my partner just passed that, that's fine. So, here, one of the reasons why I reopened with a double is one of the hand types my partner can have is a trap pass. It doesn't look like they really had that, I think they've got a marginal choice here. Um, but, like, if my partner had good clubs, they could just pass and hope that I'd reopen with a double. Um, okay, so diamond, diamond, and I'll just lead a club. I might get N played here at some stage. Jack of hearts, that's a good lead from my partner. Um... Let's just go queen of hearts. I don't think my partner has four hearts, so we'll just exit a heart here. Okay, my partner had four hearts, but they roughed it anyway. So my partner's got four hearts, so they had really good um, clubs there. Uh, we've got all of our side winners at this stage, so let's just play a diamond, see if I can get a trump promotion for my partner. But they just under roughed, so their hand's garbage. Uh, but plus 800, that's really what you're going for when you reopen the double there. My partner did actually have a trap pass. West Sand was absolute garbage for a vulnerable preempt. But uh, if you just pass it out, you get a really poor score. Opening one no trump is an interesting choice. Um, but yeah, plus 800. So that moved us up into rank number one at 69%. Good position to be in. One board to play. Let's see what we can do. Balance 14 count, but uh, trip aces. I really like aces. Tempted to upgrade this into a no trump, but my uh, intermediates are just so bad. Um, and my partner's a past hand, so I'm going to not upgrade this one, but I might have upgraded if uh, they weren't in that spot. Um, doesn't look like very promising. Um, okay, they, they managed to work their way to three spades. There's two past hands. Wasn't expecting that, but my partner has a pretty bad hand if that's the case. They're probably both 11 points. 11, 11 um, is 22, 18 points. So I think my partner's probably got four points. Uh, I'm just going to lead a passive heart. Okay. So, 5, 8, 10, king. So, east has like king 9 doubleton probably. Uh, and they're leading spades, so I think I can just win ace of spades and draw another trump. I don't really want to be on lead on this hand. Okay, so East has five spades. Uh, 
Why are they playing so many spades? Club to the king. So East has no points in spades. They've got the king of hearts. I'm actually going to duck this. Maybe it'll cut communication. I should have played it. No. Yeah, I think we've got all of our tricks at this moment. Wow, they, they made 10 tricks. 32% to finish off. Dropping me into rank number two. Uh, some people got to play one no trump and actually make it their way. Uh, so they probably just upgraded into one no trump, which was what I was considering. But uh, yeah, finished in with 65% in rank number two. I was pretty happy with this. Um, don't think I did too much wrong. Uh, those two poor boards, I think I was doing pretty normal stuff, but definitely got punished. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the weekly free instant tournament, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.